Keep going. Oh yeah, that dude said keep going. I was thinking I was like, hey. Oh, hey. that's all good. He will command it and add unto it, but as soon as one of no understanding heareth it, it displeases him, and he casts it behind his back. That's what y'all do. Like, if we are here teaching the word with our brothers, if you bring out a scripture, I'm like, Dad, that's a good scripture. I got another scripture to back you up. You know what I'm saying? That's what that's talking about. But a fool ain't gonna bring out no extra scriptures to back you up. A fool's gonna talk shit. Like, ah, oh, yeah, you know, why you cussing with the Bible? Why y'all talk so loud? Why you wearing that shit? Why you wearing that stuff? What you wearing? You go on. Let me read this real quick. Oh, go ahead. Uh, this is Matthew 13 and 18. Hear ye therefore the parable of the soul. What is, what is this, a gathering of the hoes out here? Yeah. Here, um, when anyone heareth the word of the kingdom and understandeth it not, then cometh the wicked one and catcheth away that which was sown in his heart. This is he which receives seed by the wayside. Yeah, so. Right, so most most of y'all get carried away by the devil. The devil already got your ass. Okay, for two thirds two thirds of Israel, y'all already y'all y'all worship Satan. Most of y'all, the devil's already got you, and there's no hope for you. You're just gonna be destroyed. You're gonna die. Thank all, you. And all you all you, you so-called white people, you Edomites, you're all going into slavery. You're gonna be our slaves. You're gonna bow down and you're gonna lick the dust of our feet, and you're gonna go into slavery for a thousand years. According to the Holy Bible, we're gonna take the little Edomite babies, we're gonna bash them against the rocks. We're gonna rape your women. And actually, the one you we're gonna rape your nasty bitches. When the one you call Jesus Christ returns, he's gonna destroy America. All right, and all you all you wicked demons, you're gonna go into slavery. Do the world between two and twenty-eight. If they may find a damn that is a virgin. None of these hoes are virgins. Ain't none of y'all hoes virgins. That's why we call you hoes. Which is not the truth. And lay hold on her and lie with her and they be found. Then the man that lie with her shall give unto the damsel's father 50 shekels of silver and she shall be his wife because he hath humbled her. Right, these hoes ain't humbled right now. But soon, through, through the spirit of the Lord, these hoes, they're going to be humbled. You out of line, faggot. Yeah. I'm Catholic. Catholic, Catholic, Catholic. Catholic. What's Catholic, Catholic mean? I believe in Catholic Jesus. Catholic priest. You, you believe Hold in other Jesus. Catholic priests rape more little boys than anybody. That's what you believe in. Uh, you got it, dude. You guys got it. Right, Ca Catholic you. priests are known for rape a little boy. And you a Catholic. Like you said, you a faggot. He's not molester. Yeah, he, he, he probably <laughs> He was an altar boy and he liked it. He had a cardinal rape his ass. I bet that faggot with all them fine ass hoes and he ain't fucking a single one of them. Hell no. He thinking about dick. He thinking about drink getting a nut busting on his face. Fucking faggots, man. Bunch of he look like a little weak little He's bitch, sick. man. Little, little Edomite faggot, man. So when I'm around Esau, I just feel feel that, that evil vibration. I just start, you, know, you get around Esau, sometimes you start shaking. You be like, I'm gonna kill these motherfuckers, man. Yeah, that's what it is. The spirit gets riled up. Yeah, it gets you riled up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and it do. Let me, let me last scripture. Ecclesiastes 21:16. The talking of a fool is like a burden in the way. <laughs> right, that's just, he, love, he believes in Jesus. Oh, he believes in Jesus. I'm talking about he's a Catholic. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Catholics are a bunch of fucking homosexuals. You know what I'm saying? Like Catholics actually worship Mary over Jesus. Yeah, they wake okay. pray to Mary more than they pray to the Lord. You know what I'm saying? And they ain't really praying to Mary, they're praying to Semiramis. They're praying to Isis, the queen of heaven. That's who they worship. And there's no truth up in the Catholic church, okay? And I was just reading an article uh, on the internet today, something I've been studying for the past week or so, is that the Catholic church was infiltrated by Freemasons a long time ago. Okay, actually, shit, even way back before that, uh, the Catholic, Catholic Church been sold out for a long time, man. Long, thousands of years, probably over a thousand years. Catholic Church really ain't never been right, to be honest with you. <laughs> it ain't never been right. Never. Yeah, we, never. Yeah, we really look at When the you really look at it, it yeah. they used to go hard. They was never right, okay? 
was for Constantine and Man, they yeah, was wicked too. Right, cause yeah, cause Constantine, they wasn't doing things like they were supposed to do it. They they was making treaties with the heathens. When the scriptures say you're not supposed to make deals with the heathens, cause that's why that's why all these Christians out here celebrate Christmas, which is a pagan holiday. That goes back to them making them treaties and making uh uh, uh they capitulating with the devil. You know what I'm saying? They ain't supposed to negotiate with terrorists. Right, you ain't spo you're supposed to make an agreement. Like, okay, just to make everybody happy, we'll celebrate Christmas and we'll celebrate Easter so everybody can get along. It don't say that in the scriptures. The scriptures say you uh, celebrate Christmas or Easter, you gotta get stones with stones. You gotta get pelted with goddamn rocks, motherfucking boulders. You know what I'm saying? And, and also say, too, if you ain't been coming out from the scriptures, you ain't. Don't with God's speed. Oh yeah, yeah, right, right. Get that real quick. We're gonna end it on that script. We're gonna, I want to bring out a point right before we get out. Is these Catholics and shit? They make excuses for celebrating Christmas because they admit that Christmas is pagan and they admit that Easter is pagan. Yeah, but they but they try to make excuses though. The one they be like, well, the reason we celebrate Christmas because back in the day the barbarians. The Germanic barbarians, like the business guys and the ostrich guys, and the uh, what's the other guys? I can't think right now. All the different, all the different gods came through, right? And that they they, they they started celebrating Christmas and Easter, as like I said, they uh, they they made an agreement with them, okay? And they made truces with them, but. We don't have that problem today. You don't see goddamn Germanic hordes of barbarians at our borders, okay? We don't have that problem. There's no need to celebrate Christmas. That's in John, right? What's that? That's for Second John. Second John. So. Yeah, but there's no there's no excuse for celebrating Christmas today, man. There's no excuse. Like my si you want some funny shit? My sister. She actually worships Odin. She's in, she worships the Germanic, Germanic false gods who ain't even real. But she actually worships Odin and Thor. And she says she likes the Catholic Church because she knows that is Odin worship. <laughs> she likes Christmas. You know why my sister likes Christmas? Because she knows it's pagan. That's some funny shit, ain't it? Uh, second John 11. That's why you got a lot of Wiccans. A lot of Wiccans. And a lot of a lot of neo pagans, they like Christmas and they like Easter because they know it's pagan. Don't you know a Wiccan? You know a Wiccan's a witch, right? Don't you know a Wiccan's favorite holiday is Easter? Because she's a goddamn witch. Because Easter's a celebration of Istar. The word Easter comes from the word Istar, which goes back and Istar was the goddess of fertility, the goddess of prostitution, the queen of heaven. You know Istar has many names. Uh, Isis. Ishtar, Asherah, Inanna. But that's why, that's where Easter comes from. Easter comes from the worshiping of the Queen of Heaven. That's why those Wiccans, they love Easter. They, it's their favorite holiday. That tells you how stupid all you so-called Christians are. Y'all worship the devil and you don't even know it because you're fucking retarded. Right, the scripture says because you reject knowledge, the Lord gonna reject you. Oh, go ahead. Second John 1 and 9. Whosoever transgresseth the abideth and abideth not in the doctrine of of Christ have not God. Yeah, when you when you ce celebrate Easter, that's not the doctrine in the Bible. Because the word doctrine, go back to the word doctor, which means to teaching, okay? Teaching. So the doctrine means your teaching. So nowhere in the Bible did it teach you to celebrate Christmas. And to celebrate Easter and worship Ishtar. Because the Easter, it means Ishtar. You can't get around it. Nowhere in the Bible did it say to put a Christmas tree up in your house. Actually, the book of Jeremiah, the 10th chapter, tells you not to put a Christmas tree in your house. Go read Jeremiah 10. Okay? It says specific. We can read it, but we, you know, we's about to leave. But we could be out here all day with these scriptures. You know what I'm saying? Just go read Jeremiah 10 and tell you not to bring a Christmas tree in your house. So the Bible didn't tell you to work, uh, follow the ways of the heathen. So all y'all follow the ways of the heathen. Y'all celebrate goddamn Christmas. You celebrate Halloween. Dress your child like devils and goblins and witches. 
Thanksgiving's next week. All these bitches doing yoga. Yeah, Thanksgiving's next week. Y'all gonna have celebrate Thanksgiving, which is really this uh, commemorating the genocide of the North American Indians. Y'all giving thanks to the thanks to Satan, pretty much. I'll oh, go ahead. And then y'all, yeah, Thanksgiving is a day of gluttony. Oh, how much can I eat? And how much food can I waste? That's a day of gluttony. You're sitting there and just eating all that food and stuff in your face like a the fat piece of shit that you are. And Murph is gonna turn into morning. Yep, and Murph's gonna be turning into morning. Go ahead. Second John 1 and 10. If there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine. If any come unto you and bring not this doctrine and this teaching, this teaching, the teaching of the Bible, not the teaching of the church. The way we bring it out. The way we, which is the scriptures. All we do is read the scriptures. Okay. So read that again. Second John 1 and 10. If there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine. As any, your mama, your grandma, your best friend, your teacher, your boss, your uncle, dumb -ass wife. your dumbass wife, I don't give a fuck who it is, your next door neighbor, the mailman, the preacher, the, the judge, the, the police, read that again. Second John 1 and 10, if there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, keep going, receive him not into your house. Receive him not, keep going, neither bid him God speed. Don't even, don't even say peace to him. They'll be like, all right, I hope y'all do good. Take it easy. Be I safe. bid you farewell. <laughs> yeah, peace. Take it easy. Be careful. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, no, it don't say to say that. Jesus loves you. You're actually supposed to throw a curse on their ass and pray the Lord destroy you. I'm telling like, the Lord going to kill your ass, man. If you if you don't repent, the Lord going to destroy you, man. All this truth, man, you end up casting everybody out because it's a righteous thing. You're casting these wicked people away from you. Yep. You're becoming a new person. You're becoming new. You've been born again. You've become born again. That's yep. like, what's that in uh, Corinthians? Yep. Paul tells you that. What's that, 2 yep. Corinthians? Right. 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 You got to put off that old man and put on the new. The new. That's right. That's what it means being born again. Yep. You, you wake up and find out you're an Israelite. That's the key right there. Then you find the Lord's name. Like, whoa. Right. I mean, That's you got it. that key. You got that key that opens up all them. I remember, my doors. I remember, the first, my doors. I remember the first time I heard the Lord's name. I was amazed. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. amazed. That light went on. I was, I was like, what did he say? And look, as soon as he said it, I, I rewound it again. I was like, what did he say? And I never forgot it since then. Yeah, yeah. First time I heard him say, Yahweh Shai, I never forgot it. Yeah. I heard that I heard that name. It just never, it just... And that was one of my main worries when I first started hearing the elders. I was, I was sincerely worried that, man, I ain't going to never learn none of this, man. That's I what I was worried too. Yeah, I ain't never learned that. I was man. feeling like I was never gonna get. I was yeah. like, I, yeah. it's like there's no possible way to. Yeah. It, like that, I was looking at the elders like I could never be like they, that. All that wisdom, all that knowledge, yeah. man, that, it was overwhelming. It was yeah. overwhelming. Yeah. Yeah. All the Lord did was He unplugged us from one program <laughs> and plugged us up in His. I remember I first learned the truth, man. I was taking down notes every two <laughs> seconds when I was going to sleep. I was passing out. Going through the script, I still do yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, but I, especially when I first started learning, when I was going to sleep, I was just trying my hardest to memorize them scriptures. Yeah, I was every.